Okay, gentlemen. Let y'all decompress. Break oh, this thing goodness. down. Oh, my goodness. Episode 82. What are your thoughts? Whew. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of different ground to cover. It's like we wanted to hear more about Annie's situation, her motivations, and uh <laughs> it looked like he was uh, her main motivation was his father and see like he was the first one to die in the revolution to a degree uh, yeah man that's wow yeah even like with the dad just talking on that note like he was like did y'all not see the same thing we saw like what's going on like we need to get out of here like can we leave can everybody leave and flee Right, and then all of a sudden, the dude pulled a gun on him. So, were, were that, those guys were those guys supposed to be Eldians or were they Marlians that I were? Think, that I think were, they were, I think they had Eldians that were actually holding captive other Eldians just on wow. the Sentry Gate, which is crazy to me because he referred to them like you should have seen the same thing. Same thing, yeah, yeah. And, and um, they they had armbands. It was different than the yeah yeah it was it was some kind of like uh, I don't know if it was red or if it was yellow but yeah, yeah it was color coded armband so they basically shot their own like that's the crazy uh, thing bro like and it's like y'all could legit probably have gotten out of there instead y'all still so mixed up and brainwashed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say that's like the ultimate version of Stockholm Stockholm syndrome, syndrome. like mm-hmm. at any and the truth of the matter is at any point they could walk. They really could because Marley Marley is too split right now to really yeah. think about holding folks up, you know. Right, bro. I would like to actually see what the Marlins are even what what the way they're reacting to this. I'd actually like to see a, a big scope of like different places around the world. Because mm-hmm. you gotta think that there's probably Eldians in other parts of the globe that would have just ran like, yo, I just saw something. Crazy, bro. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what do mm-hmm. y'all? We need to prepare because something terrible is coming. It's coming, right? Yeah. That dude. I mean, he. I give him credit. He tried, but you just can't. You cannot sometimes um, quell fear with logic. Yeah, because yeah. those 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 guys are trying to grasp their reality, and he's basically telling them, "Look, every single." M- uh Eldian just heard that you should have heard it too. Right. Do you really think we're all you think we're all in on it? Right. <laughs> and right. He, and basically they didn't want no parts of it because what's happening in Paradise is basically what they're trying to avoid in Marley. They're trying to they're trying to avoid being crushed by a Bigfoot. Right. You know, no pun intended. You know, so it's very uh it's disturbing. This uh, this episode was so disturbing for me. Yeah, because even with what what uh, your boy Aaron's doing with these colossals, like old girl Hitch was like, "Yeah, the only job I have now is just pulling bodies from the rubble." Yeah, and it was like I was kind of thinking about. I was like, "Dog, once those walls go, like everybody in the surrounding vicinity is a wrap, are done." Like yeah. that old lady was like, "Yo, this is Aaron's fault," but it's kind of like even when she had that. Like and they had like a real conversation, like yeah, but yeah, we kind of lost the family members, but the sacrifice though, you know, right. and it's like that's a real conversation, but it's sick, and it's like normally with a normal like movie or anime, they would just fast forward to where Aaron's at and then start to see the chaos. No, Attack on Titan is like, no, you're yeah. gonna see the ramifications of all getting down in the weeds, yeah, feel it yeah. all, feel yeah. it all of it before it's even happened. Speaking yeah. of getting into the details, the fact that she didn't just say the only job she had was pulling out bodies. She said the only meaningful job True. she had was pulling out bodies. That, to that's me, a, is that's crazy. A, that's a good take. I didn't even think about it like that. She's wow. like, the only meaningful job I have is pulling out bodies. That is, That says a lot. That says a lot. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. It is actually really a disturbing episode because the things that are going on, the conversation that Armin had with Mikasa, because at first I was kind of like, Armin was like, 
oh, I've got to go and get the condom. And I was like, Armin, like, look, I know you distressed right now, but are you thinking about everything else? And then all of a sudden, he just broke out into this, 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 this. All the way down to Irvin should have been the one because I wasn't built for this right. And I was I'm, like, dang. That's a deep cut, bro. That's a deep cut, deep cut. I, I, actually, I actually didn't like the end of that particular scene. Like, uh, I like the scene because the scene is basically justifying Aaron's conversation with Mikasa and and Armin when he was trying to you know cut ties like you know that it, her blood is really what makes her want to do stuff for him and you know he wasn't really going to amount to much whatever so this this conversation they're having is kind of justifying um it's kind of justifying Aaron's point because Mikasa is like Mikasa has always been the person that I always know what to do except priority is always Aaron. So I'm right. always aware of what to do. As long as you don't cross Aaron, I'm good. This is the one time she don't know what to do. Mm -mm. And honestly, I think it's because now we're starting to see that Aaron basically rock, rocked them. So she don't mm -hmm. know what to do. She can't go help him. Nope. You know, all the military structure is gone, you know, and Armin is like, look, I don't have the time to think about this. I'm right. trying to, you know, the military structure is gone. So it's kind of like all the stuff that Armin could use for strategy. Board is totally out the window. Wiped. It's out the window. Board is totally wiped. He don't know what to do because he doesn't know. He doesn't know what assets are out there. He doesn't know mm -hmm. if the if anyone's still around. You know, the whole everything up. This is the moment where everything between the two of them mm -hmm. have been basically broken out. And broken yeah. down. They don't, they are, they really don't know who they are without these guarantees in place. And yeah. because they're not there, this is where they really start to find themselves. Yeah. But Armin has to stop going back to that whole thing between him and Irvin, man. That is just it's, oh god. It's yeah. it's harsh yeah. because it was it was never in his hands anyway. Like yeah. it was that was a choice. And that man conscientiously made as well as Levi, too. Like, mm -hmm. it won't just on him, you know what I'm saying? But this is the thing about this episode, though. It's like a lot of people have just, like, well, the apocalypse is here. We got to adapt. <laughs> like, essentially across the board. Because, like, even, you know, your boy uh, Armin was like, okay, well, in order for us to have any relationship with Raynor and the other Titans, we got to make sure that we don't remove Falco because then that'll – Destroy because he's not thinking about the right now, he's thinking about the later on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's coexisting because he's like, I don't want to start a whole other world, world revolution kind of thing. But then, Plus, uh, your boy Enoch, uh, Annie, like everybody is like, even the lieutenant, the lieutenant that was talking to those guys, those young guys, he was like, Okay, we can break you out. He's like, Dude, no. You better go and get in with them, them Jaegerists. <laughs> and right. maybe hopefully later on, you know, y'all might have a chance. But no, nah, conform. Conform. Right. He, he basically <laughs> told them survive. That's all he really basically said. live. He said survive. Live. Dang it. live. Like, survive. I, I He's like so regimes. Bad, bro, bro. Regimes change all the time. Just survive. Mm. He's but he but I love that he was like, I'm too old to be <laughs> living up in the mountains and taking mm. a dump outside. That was so hilarious for me, like, you know. And it's like with John. John had that conversation with um, Aaron a long time ago about, you know, what he really is and how he really is emotionally. Mm -hmm. And he knew. I think that messed him up even more because he was like, okay, Enoch did have a conversation with Aaron because only Aaron would even know to, you know, speak of him like that. Mm -hmm. And it tore him up because... Like, what does this mean? Where, where does he go from here? Does he go and get comfy? Or does he step up and try to help leave? Because that, sh that shook him, bro. I mean, it shook us all, but everything that's going on now, I really don't know what goes... I, I really don't know what happens, honestly. I was curious y'all's perspective. And this crazy chick, let me pull her up. She done made her appearance... Oh yeah. <laughs> now let's say this. When 
I'm not going to say when and if. I'm going to say when this man right here, the butcher himself, comes man. back. Oh, Levi. Yeah. What's the first thing that Levi is going to do? Beast Titan. <laughs> <laughs> He's either going to go after the Beast Titan or he's going to go after Aaron, one or the other. So you don't think he's going to try to round up what they have left? Or he, you think he's just going to go straight? I, I think he's I, he might do that, but I think he's going after the Beast Titan because I'm not sure he knows that that Aaron got one over on the Beast Titan yet. And is the Beast Titan... is the, is, is, is I think the, that Aaron mm, absorbed it. Yeah. I but I don't think he, I don't think Levi knows that yet, correct? Like so, yeah, Levi I think, doesn't know nothing. I think Levi is about to get try to meet up with some folks, getting a whole get an assessment, mm-hmm. or he's going right after the Beast Titan first. Then somebody will just let him know, hey, look, um, that dude gone. Aaron got the better of him, and you know, Aaron has 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 you know brought down the walls of Jericho and decided to send them fools marching. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's. That's the thing that's just tough for me, man. Dude, dude has literally gone from being the protagonist of this story to a full blown to to a full blown antagonist. Yeah, he is. You know, at this point. Yeah, he's 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 literally he's literally the the second part of you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. He is now the villain of mm-hmm. this story. And yeah. the thing is, uh, he, he's not Joker level villain. He's more Thanos level villain. Yeah, he's basically absolutely. he's basically a terrorist. <laughs> seriously, seriously, yeah. he is he is literally he literally wants he's he is the one guy that is like I'm going to destroy the world to save my people. Yeah, where all we have is this island. Yeah, you know of us, mm-hmm. except ex. You know he. You know most people that do that are like the Doctor Evil types. Like I want one billion dollars. You know, <laughs> you know, or yeah. Ren and Stimpy trying to take over the world. Not Ren and Stimpy. Um, Pinky and the Brain, Pinky trying, brain. To over, yeah. trying to take over the world. You know all these all these world domination type characters. You know Cobra. You know all that stuff. Except this dude can actually do it. He he's literally Infinity War Thanos right now. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. is the chance. There is the chance he is going to decimate the world, find him a little spot, grow some plants, and you know, and, and hang up his arm. Hang up, you know, <laughs> hang up, hang up all that stuff and be good. Yeah, this dude right here, and and I mean. And and what I love about how they portrayed him is if you notice as he's gotten older, as he's gotten more villainous, as he's kind of switched from the protagonist to the antagonist, his eyes, the, the blue of his eyes has gotten dimmer and dimmer and dimmer through this whole, whole process. This dude, mm. you know, this dude yeah. was a kid who from the minute his mother got eaten, this dude was on the slow progression and his eyes were just enraged all the time. He wanted to kill every Titan. And now as he's gotten older and he's learned some things, it's like all that light he had, his base is almost gone. Right. That's how Aaron was, you know, and even, even with the attack Titan, you see his eyes are glowing, but that's the attack Titan. Man, I can only imagine what that dude, I can only imagine what that, what that dude looks like. We saw a bit of it, but I can only imagine what that dude looks like now that he's got the founding Titan and he feels the way he feels. Like, Aaron mm-hmm. is literally a monster. Straight up. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't yeah. even know where to kind of put it. Like, you know, some people are like, man, you're a monster. But like, <laughs> inside and out at this point, like, the circumstances created him to be this monster. And it's crazy because, like, the sky is still red, bro. Like, it literally is like an apocalypse situation. Mm-hmm. Um, I really just don't know how this story ends, honestly. I really don't. Right. I'm, I'm preparing myself for a bleak ending, honestly. I am. I'm, you know, like, like a, like a, hopefully they can make it slightly poetic 
instead of just dropping us off a cliff. But like I I, I fully think whatever however it goes down is going to be quite bleak. Yeah. I yeah. think I I don't know. I think it's going to be bleak, but I think it's going to be also neutralized. Like they're gonna balance it out. Like I think there's going to I think Aaron is going to get what he wants, just not the way he thinks he wants it or he's gonna get it. Mm-hmm. You know, I think at the end of the day, when Aaron really kind of thinks it through, he just wants a level playing field. He just wants the Titans gone. And I don't, and the thing is, I don't think he wants people gone. I don't think he wants the Marlins gone. Yeah. I, I think he, well, actually, I take that back. He probably wants the Marlins gone for all that they've done. But I think at the end of the day, I think what he really wants is for his people to be treated fairly. And basically what the original um, Titan wanted was for them to be left alone. You know, but I don't think he sees that yet because he's not even considering that there, excuse me, that there are Eldians in in Marley that can be that that can be taken out you know he I, I just don't think he um he's not seeing that right now he's like we're just gonna wipe everything out it'll just be us and then he may even want to repopulate the world where it's just Eldians from Paradise but we'll see I think for me the moment that Aaron did this that's when I realized that I don't know, man. I felt like this is where he really crossed the line. Uh-huh. Like when you, I ain't gonna say like mentally broke your dad, right? To commit, you know, mass murder to mm-hmm. get to the resolve that you need to get to, and manipulated mm-hmm. your brother into this. <laughs> like Zeke has mm-hmm. done some terrible things. Zeke is not a saint. I'm not. I'm not. Far from, him of nothing. Far from it. Like, but the way that Aaron did all this, like, it's just insane to me. Um, and I, I thought I knew Aaron, but I feel like we none of us really knew. None of no, us really no, no. Knew. no, no, no. I think we knew Aaron. I think so. So what we learn, what we learn is that trauma can change Mm. people. Mm -hmm. And I think we knew Aaron. I think we had Aaron down dead to rights until he went to Marley and went undercover and saw how how his own people were being treated and saw how, um, you know, because he wanted, him and Armin wanted to go to the sea and see what was beyond the sea. So Mm. when when you get there and you see that it's, you know, it's worse. Than on the island. You know, like, do you choose, do you choose right. between trying to survive being stomped, eaten, or killed by Titans or living in Eldian internment camps? Like this is basically yeah. this is this is a Eldian ho- it's a Holocaust. Yeah. That's basically what it is. And I think that and the things he learned pertaining to his brother. I, I don't I still don't know I, I still don't know or understand if he realizes that the, the 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 Titan that killed that ate his mother was actually his fa- his father's, father's first wife. wife. I don't know if they if they've discussed that, but um for all he's been through, you know, he he changed. I think yeah. all he's been through has literally changed him where he's a completely different person and I think because he didn't have he didn't have a lot of guidance he didn't have anyone he can trust and when he went through that transition he ba- his response was basically that Aaron of of old uh, of old this Aaron he like I can see because if you notice it literally has just evolved from I want to get rid of all the Titans to I want to get rid of everyone outside of the island yeah the concept hasn't really changed she's just expanded the focal point the focus so do we really not know aaron 
No. I think what we don't know, it, what we really don't know is all these attributes that he's added, the strategy, um, you know, the tactician that he is, you know, a lot of it, he, a lot of it, I think he's also grown from Armin, you know, because mm-hmm. Armin, Armin is a, is a, is a strategy, is a strategist of war, if you yeah. will, or yeah. strategist of, you know, planning, planning, scheduling, you know, setting up your, t- setting up your, your units, your, your squads, your battalions, and doing what's right to complete the mission. Right. Aaron is an emotional strategist, an emotional tactician. He gets in your head yep. or messes with you. And he knows what you're going to do when he does it. Yep. Like he knew Armin was going to respond the way he responded when he talked about him and when he talked about uh, um, Mikasa. Mikasa. He knows all. He knows all of that. He knows all of it. That's another level. That's all. That's like psyops level right there. Dude is a dude is just dude has evolved to the next level of who he can who he can be and has removed a lot a good portion of his emotion along the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I think that you hit the nail on the head when you're talking about like trauma because you know. Aaron had has always since we've known him had a lot of rage and yep. a lot of hatred and most mm-hmm. of the time when it's not you know met with therapy or a, a actual good outlet mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna just enrage to the point where it's uncontrollable and I think that I was I was more okay with him having these random emotional outbursts. <laughs> until the moment that he went just cold, dead, silent. Because mm-hmm. then, after a certain point, I'm like, okay, this man might be broke emotionally. Because for a long time, I was like, why is he not smiled? He ain't, he ain't done nothing. Like he just showed no emotion at all. And I was like, oh, this man is crazy, straight up. Like he is now allowed his anger and his rage to be focused and honed to the point mm-hmm. now that moments like this he could care less about like this is one of his most pivotal moments he saved armin sacrificed his own life and got eaten but yet now people out there got left on the street getting eaten trampled over by walls and god knows who, what he thinks about it <laughs> like i really don't right. i don't know like it's just not it's sad <laughs> It, it, the more yeah. you think about it, regardless of where it's going, it's pretty sad to see where this boy came from to mm-hmm. where he is right now. And I, I guess my biggest question to you guys is, can we rock with him anymore? Or do we just wait and see what what his end game really is? Can, I, I don't. I really don't know anymore. I really don't. Okay, this is a lot of bodies, bro, everywhere. Yeah. You, yeah, you want to fire that first shot, Chitty, on that? That's a bet. Um, in all honesty, and this is me being the the, the optimist in general, uh, yeah, but it's more of a wait and see. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a, if there is that kind of balancing that you're talking about at the end, and whatever is going to happen is going to be that last, last episode. Yeah. Just to see if there's any redeeming in him or in his in his uh thought process or 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 in his execution of how he's trying to get whatever he's trying to get done done um there may be there may be some kind of twist at the end but as it stands right now they clearly want us to not rock with him at all as it stands (laughs) right now he is unrockable (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) so and, and 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 that's good and that's just freaking dope writing like you know somebody wrote well and acted well when you see like an actor or an actress in general they're not even in you know in costume or whatever and you hate them for who they were right. in a thing we have grown to that point where Aaron. 
and we've seen him slowly but surely go there. Like you've seen it and heard it in his little rants, his little like monologues, where you you almost hear if you listen to it two voices when he goes there, and yeah. that's kind of a, a a general evil trope to hear multiple voices mm-hmm. like saying the same thing. Like it's it it becomes. We are legion, kind of, you know, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think he is unrockable at the moment. He may not stay that way, but at least right now. Just no, it's just so yeah. hard to see this image, and right? See this image, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, right, right. Same like it messes dude. with me, dude. I, I don't think that's hard. I actually, I don't think that's hard at all. Uh, when it comes to how I feel about it right now, like I'm kind of like I'm kind of like all the I'm kind of like all the other people on the wings of freedom, you know, uh, on on when it comes to Aaron, those that have built bonds with Aaron, like mm. I can't believe what he's done, but I think they all have still some kind of faith of trying to stop him, mm. you know. So I'm kind of I'm kind of like with Chitty on that, like. He's definitely at first glance not rockable. Can't can't rock with him. You know, but it's also one of those things where it's either he's got a whole new plan all along that he's going to switch up on kind of like how he switched up on Zeke or his friends are going to save him and bring him back to himself. You know. Cuz the truth is if he if he pulls this off and actually succeeds no one will ever want anything to do with him again. Mm-mm. Like there's no real place he could go. I mean, he could go live out in the world, but there's no one there if he's if he's killed everyone. And then if he wants to stay in paradise, you know, no one's going to look at him the same way because they they all supported him and then turned around and he basically killed families, you know, breaking down the walls to get the, the Colossal Titans going, you know, Um when it comes to, but when it comes to how the, the way this thing is going to go, um, which I, I don't know, I think at the end, what he what he's doing right now won't be justified, but whatever is done that gives him redemption will be, will be justified. Mm. He's got to hit the low point. Yep. He's really got to. He's really got to get to the low point either where no one can save him or everybody is trying to pull him out of this. I don't even want to call it a facade, just the way he is now, his demeanor and everything. Now they're trying to pull him out out of that, you know, and this right here is just all kinds of messed up. Like, I don't need, I can't wait to see how he turns out in terms of the, uh founding titan but they gotta they gotta save him that's the thing like they 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 gotta at least try to save him you know the show can go bad the show can just go bad and black out or the show can end on a good note or the show can even balance out where it's you know it could be him spending time with historia and the child or he could actually fall and be with mikasa whatever the situation is no yeah. matter how it ends out, though, I can honestly say, hands down, Attack on Titan is probably the best anime. Period. Oh dang! Hold like, on. like, like <laughs> I'm call me on guard for a second. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like seriously, this. You know, I've seen some really great anime, even ones that have like intrigue you know um like code geass Lucia, the rebellion i've seen you know of course all the dragon balls you know i've seen mobile fighter g gundam um you know i've seen a lot of intriguing anime you know yeah. we can even throw cowboy bebop in there samurai shampoo in there although they have a lot of comedic stuff in there they still have this undertone yeah. Of of th- of things that are, you know, real life harsh real. pulling, right. you know, but and e- even video, even some, even you can even throw like uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender in there. Like 
phenomenal, phenomenal. But I have to say, I think Attack on Titan is is my number one of all time, right? Now. Dang. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't think I would say it, and I still want to see how it ends. That may change. I'm I'm gonna just put a I'm gonna put a pin on that on my on my cork board, you know, because it, it I may have to take it down after we see how this thing ends. But if it gives us a if it gives us a satisfactory ending, you know, where we can say, okay, I mean, we could definitely have a great ending, whether it's a great good ending or a great bad ending, I'm fine. But if we have a satisfactory ending that, you know, all bases are covered and we can walk away and say, mm-hmm. yeah, we're good. Attack on Titan is pro- is more than likely going to be my best anime of all time. I don't know if we'll be around for another one like it, but that. Wow. This I mean, this anime is different in so many ways. It is. I mean, it is. Uh, I mean, Breaking Bad is one of those shows that from the beginning all the way to the very end, like it was strong. Yeah. And I'm I'm praying that Attack on Titan has a just the same. Uh, I guess it's a good segue because the rumor is that episode 84, mm-hmm. they're going to take like a two week hiatus. And then yeah. Yeah. Later on, whatever the finale, whatever the finale number is, I don't know if it's 89 or if it's 90, I can't remember. Um, they're gonna have a movie that could be the finale. Yeah. The, the last episode is a movie. And I think that a show like this is deserving of it. Oh yeah. I really do. Like end it yeah. strong. Take it to the hoop strong. Yeah. And don't there's still none. there's still heavy hitters out there, man. You know, um, uh, what is it? Jujitsu Kaisen is heavy. Um, Demon Slayer is heavy. Yeah, yeah we got to so we got to catch up with that. We got to catch up on it's that like season. Like, yeah, like there's some heavy hitter anime out there. Like even the one y'all y'all showed me um, uh, with the family. You know, um, with the dude that was hacking. You know that system. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um that to me, that was fire too. I mean, there's there's some real heavy hitters out there, but none of them hit to me like AOT. Right. AOT deals AOT gets down in the details with everybody, people that you may have forgotten. You know, like you just can't. You just came off of Annie, and Annie gave you this riveting story about right. how she cared nothing about anybody, you know, until the guy, until the man that picked her, I mean, she's been through the ringer, the man mm. that picked her up from the gate of that mansion that's been raising her and beating her down her whole life to get her stronger. When she comes back and he's like, look, just live just come on just come home you know the simple fact that that she's that that's the one thing that made her care and for us to know and she doesn't even know it yet that that one thing is now gone yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be tough i want to see what her reaction is gonna be like you know it's gonna be rough yeah it's gonna be rough man yeah, uh, Ant, you got any closing thoughts? Man, look, I I just know I'm along for the ride. Let this is this is literal much watch uh, content. <laughs> like, right. honestly, I'm right there with you, Ty. Like one of the best, if not the best, anime of all time. Just just for how it it gets you to feel feelings from not just the main characters, not just the main people who get all of the shine, all of the talk time. Like you get feels off of any story, off of, you know, off of uh, Connie, mm-hmm. just riding old boy to flock Gabby. Like yeah. th- these are not major players necessarily in the, in the overarching uh, story arc, but their little things that they do can get you 
feeling like what is going on? Like, yeah, stressful, like angry, like all of that, and and just the fact that it it gets you a, 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 the emotional really is yeah yeah, yeah. nah it, that's 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 it yeah that's yeah it. I, th- I think the this is definitely the best anime series of all time. Absolutely, hands down. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know any other series better than this on mm-hmm. anime level. I think this is the best writing of any yeah. anime. Oh, yeah. yeah. This That's- is the best writing of any anime. No matter, even if they did something stupid at the end, just the intricate web <laughs> of what they've done with every single character and how it all ties. Like It's just ridiculous, bro, mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. good it is. I'm kind of like gonna put a pin in it being like the stamp best anime, but if any other anime could do it, just that one. Yeah, just that one. I think, and this is my final thought on it. There are there are there have been moments throughout anime history that have been that have set new bars, you know dare I say, transcend, you know, Mm -hmm. to that next level or push it to the to the next evolutionary level. The first one for me was was Akira. Akira, Akira was the and not saying it was not saying it's not. It's still the gold standard. Yep. It is still the gold standard to 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 what made animes what they are to this day and i think after that you even with the ones you had after that dragon ball z naruto um i'll even throw naruto uh shippuden in there um uh dragon ball z dragon ball super full metal alchemist death note yeah right um uh like I said, Code Geass, Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of these animes are are they're all trend setting. They're all incredible animes. Even Avatar: The Last Airbender. But I think they're all derived as results of the level that Akira took us to. Right. I believe Attack on Titan is the next stage of evolution because we've got wow. we've got intrigue we've got um we've got good story you know good writing like you said sam i mean we've we've definitely got good anime good graphics i mean this thing is how old and it looks it looks as good as any other current anime yeah. you know but i think Attack on Titan is going to get people to step up their game now because Attack on Titan is not just, you know, your regular anime where it's somebody fighting or flying or, you know, whatever the next big action thing is. Like, there's some detail. I mean, even Hatch. Hatch was Hatch was like a throwaway character if you right. really wanted to push it. And even Hatch has character development. It's like everyone in this in this movie from the from the minor character all the way up to the protagonist antagonist now have character development. Right. And you can't that's a lot to put on somebody um that's trying to give you a good interwoven story on a weekly basis. That you can't you can't beat that. That's crazy. So that's why I really think this series is the next stage of evolution. Like, I can't wait to see the different anime that are going to come as a result of this when this is over. Because there are good animes that are coming out, you know, really good animes that are coming out. We just mentioned we're still watching Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is great, you know. But I can't wait to see what what comes out after Attack on Titan is done. Yeah, that's gonna be the the that's gonna be the kicker. Yeah, I think yeah. that this this uh this is one of the first ones I can say that I'm like, man, 
the manga the manga is uh maybe the way to go like maybe i maybe need to actually look and put my eye out there because everybody's always talking about attack on titan the manga and mm-hmm. then when the anime came out and then they kept going all the mangas like oh y'all ain't seeing what's gonna come up next oh just wait and see and it's kind of like now i'm like okay Maybe I need to go and try to see a manga that is on that level and give it a shot from the beginning to end. But it's all exciting, man. We yeah. we we done gone for a whole day an hour. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm sleepy. Uh hope yes. I wasn't not enough. I apologize. Anybody yeah. watching? Same. Same, Same here. Same here. Same um, no, we're gonna go. <laughs> look, look, we'll look. Back. Quick, quick, quick fast shout out to my son, Terra Four. Yeah. So if I'm hey. not enough, that's why. Hey, happy birthday to the young. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh man, you guys. We'll give be back. That, give us the outro with the good beats. Hey, you oh, are yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah.